News 4 Jax and Consumer Reports, working together to keep your family safe. Cyber criminals have been very busy breaking into our accounts. Millions of people have had their sensitive information exposed just last year. We warn you about this all the time, and whether or not you know that it is something that's happened to you, you may be affected by it. Consumer investigator Lauren Verno explains the steps that you need to take right now. While we were dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, 150 million people were also dealing with data breaches that put everything from their passwords to their financial information at risk. So to help you and your family, I teamed up with Consumer Reports so you can regain control of your account and be protected before the next breach. On April 15, 2019, Consumer Reports tech editor Nicholas de Leon got alerts saying he had signed up for several credit cards. I didn't know it was happening because I didn't sign up for any new credit cards. Since he hadn't received a notice about a data breach, Nicholas checked online to see where his personal information was compromised. It was scary, it was stressful, and the worst part was that I was on the hook to clean up the mess. Sometimes companies will contact you to let you know if you're a victim of a data breach, but you can also do some digging online yourself to find out what information was compromised. The website Have I Been Pwned will tell you if it's your email address, phone number, or password. If your password was compromised, change it everywhere you've used it. Though convenient, it's a good reminder not to reuse passwords. Don't worry about having to remember new ones. A password manager does that for you. Consumer Reports recommends one called 1Password, which creates and stores complex, unique passwords for each of your accounts. And since cyber criminals can use your personal information to try to log into your accounts, use something called multi-factor authentication, which requires a second form of identification to log in. Often it's a code sent to your phone, but we recommend using a form that's more secure than that. Like the Google Authenticator app or a hardware security key, such as YubiKey. If your social security number or financial information was part of a data breach, Consumer Reports says freezing your credit report is a smart option since it restricts access to your credit history, which is what Nicholas did after his identity was stolen. I plan to keep my credit frozen because that's the safer thing to do. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you do freeze your credit, you will need to unfreeze it before you apply for a car loan, mortgage, credit card, or anything that pulls information from your credit history. And don't forget to take advantage of the free weekly credit reports you are entitled to. So before the pandemic, it was free to check once a year. But because of COVID, actually, the three national credit reporting agencies, Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian, they're all giving free access once a week until April of next year. Take advantage of that. I'm consumer investigator Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.